Hi, my name is uh, Jun Hegblad and I'm a developer here at MadeSafe and in this video we'll briefly go over the civil resistance mechanisms in the SAFE network. Uh, the SAFE network is, as you may or may not know, a new network that we're building here at MadeSafe that will be fully decentralized, permissionless, autonomous, providing privacy, security and freedom by default. All development is done in the open and all software is available under free software compatible licenses. In a permissionless decentralized network, it is crucial that the network is resilient to attacks. One category of attacks that is of special considerations are Sybil attacks. A Sybil attack is when a malicious actor subverts a network by creating a large number of pseudonymous identities, using them to gain a disproportionately large influence, that is, flooding the network with fake users. The SAFE network has a number of ways to defend against civil attacks. The goal of them is to dilute the attacker's resources and delay the attacker's ability to gain meaningful influence. Fundamentally, it boils down to making it prohibitively expensive for the attacker, both in time and resources spent. As an example, Bitcoin accomplishes civil resilience using proof of work to make it so that it's not enough to control the majority of the nodes in the network, you also need to control more than half of the hash rate. Now in a safe network, using a proof-of-work blockchain isn't a viable solution, so the question is then, how can we accomplish something similar? There are a few approaches we can use, which together forms an effective defense against civil attacks. More precisely, we can accomplish this by, first, not blindly adding all new nodes that want to join, second, relocate nodes to prevent clustering of malicious nodes, third, require no nodes to contribute to the network and prove their reliability before being able to assert any meaningful influence. Okay, now let's take a closer look at these. By only accepting new nodes to network when there is a capacity deficiency, we can throttle how fast an adversary can add nodes. This of course needs to be balanced against the fact that we don't want to prevent home users from joining. Balanced relocation means that a node that joins the network has no say in where it will be located. It's assigned a location that is chosen by other nodes. This means that an attacker is diluted to the point where it has no local influence. Crucially, attacking nodes are not given a chance to cluster. Node aging means that we limit the influence that a node has according to the amount of work it has performed over time. This means that an attacker can't take control by setting up and providing extensive resources to the network number of nodes and resources doesn't matter if your nodes are young because, put simply, they have very little say in the decision making. As nodes age, they are also relocated, which also helps to prevent any kind of local concentration of malicious nodes. Empirical data from other peer-to-peer -peer networks show that the oldest nodes are always by far the most stable, meaning that they are unlikely to churn and will provide a robust core structure that is inherently difficult to challenge for civil nodes. So this has been a short overview of how we deal with civil attacks in the SAFE network. If you're interested in finding out more about the SAFE network, please see safenetwork.tech and safenetwork.org. Thank you.